So I bring in all the wishes and greetings uh, from all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Karthik Sahani for scoring a topmost rank and rank number one in MCS Surgical Gastroenterology in All India Institute of Medical Sciences in INESS 2022 session. Best wishes and congratulations to you. Thank you so much, sir. Great to have you here today with us and to share your experiences and your preparation. And before that, we want to know about your background, where you're coming from, where you started your MBBS, MS, why surgical gastro? Can you brief something on that? So, uh, sir, uh, I, I started my journey from uh, 2012. I did my MBBS from Malanadat Medical College. And uh, I did my post-graduation again in general surgery from Malanadat Medical College only. And uh, I finished off in 2021, July 2021. After that, uh, I was, I thought of having a free time. So I rested for like one month and gave my DNB exam. And I cleared the DNB exam recently. And uh, after that, I pre started preparing. So it's around, it took me around uh, six, seven months to prepare for that. And, uh, you know, uh, now I have secured rank one from uh, 154 in the past I-9. Mm -hmm. rank one in this so uh, what you did for the past six seven months I mean how it worked out uh, to rank from 151 is it previous 154 rank 154. 154 so 154 to rank number one the transition uh, how it happened what all things you incorporated to bring the rank to topmost one so, so basically the last INI I gave was uh, with just 10 to 15 days preparation actually I just did the one previous year question and I gave the exam and uh, that's it. So in this, I, I, sir, I had, I had put all my efforts, uh, like 100% of the efforts I've put. Uh, I've seen the videos of in your app. I have, uh, I, 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 I was, I'm feeling so proud that I have uh, done all, all the questions, all the MCQs from your app. Like those are around four to 5,000 MCQs. And uh, during my, just one day before also, exa before exam, I, you know, uh, I had bookmarked some of, some of the MCQs. So those were around 1000 MCQs. I, you know, had just had, just looked over it and just briefed it and went through those 1000 MCQs, which I had bookmarked. So that thing helped me a lot. So in all, sir, I did more questions rather than reading it again and again. So because a theory part, sir, everyone would be knowing theory part, but how to apply that theoretical knowledge into that question, particular question. You will develop these skills from uh, MCQs only. Yes, uh, uh, I would uh, like to thank you that uh, the, the MCQ bank of your uh, app is uh, such a wonderful that they have taken directly uh, lines from uh, the big books like Shackleford and Bloomgard and they have just <laughs> replaced one word with something other than some, some other word so that you know you, you get to read whole of that book just with, with just uh, one question of that. So that was very uh, helpful for me actually. So, uh, you mean the book translated into uh, MCQ format? MCQs, MCQ format, exactly, exactly. Sir. So, per se, I did not read any book, but yes, uh, I, now I can say that I have read the book because of your MCQs. <laughs> so, did you go through Dr. Basant's videos? and? Uh, yes, sir, actually, yeah. Yeah, Dr. Basant's video, I had seen uh, Dr. Basant's video of esophagus and uh, hepatobilin. Okay. So, it helped me. So, what was your general surgery uh, preparation? Uh, did you do a general surgery preparation or only stick on to the specialty only? No, sir. I, I did general surgery preparation. I, I had seen the, some of the videos of yours, except for gastroenterology. I had seen the videos of vascular trauma and all that. So, uh, particularly your videos also, Lada, uh, you know, I had seen your classes. So, I, I remember your one class where you were teaching append, appendix from Bailey. So, you had taken out such, I mean, such deep, deep information from a single line of Bailey and then you were saying that for UG also you have to read Bailey, for PG also you have to read Bailey, for SS also you have to read Bailey. So that thing had striking in my mind. So uh, I'd seen actually, so in, in all I'd seen your videos of general surgery. Uh, but yeah, uh, the MCQs of speed apps, sir, they are amazing, they're wonderful. They help you, you know, grasp the crisp of that subject. The Bailey for UG, PG, SS. When all three read, the book is different for all three. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> the same line you had seen in the class also. Phenomenal. I mean, how many questions did you attend in the exam? In the exam, sir, from out of 80, I attended 75. Okay. Yes, sir. Five questions. I did not have any idea about that. So I just skipped it because I did not want to, you know, lose more marks rather than gaining some. Is that more from general surgery or surgical gastro? The five questions you got? Uh, a mix of both. 
sir it was around three questions for, from uh, uh, gastro and two questions genesis okay so after giving the exam and uh, i mean uh, i mean probably whether you have worked out the question or not but you had a feeling that we are in you had a feeling that uh, sir my exam did not go uh, did not go up to the mark uh, like according to the benchmark i had set in my mind but uh, after talking to so many people like everyone said this yes exam was difficult so i had a thought okay uh, last time i qualified for stage 1 this time uh, probably i'll get a call for interview so in my mind i was prepared for the, that i'll get a call for interview and i have to prepare for that so but uh, for the for those four days i did not study at all i roamed around i went to banaras kashi vishwanath and all so i did not study for those when the result came then only i started studying for st- stage 2 interview only so how was your interview what was your preparation for an interview <laughs> sir for interview preparation i think basant sir has taken a class on that and he has told us some few important topics and uh, you know uh, the cases and how to approach all that stuff so he has uh, taken that class pretty well and uh, the top, the 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 approaches he mm-hmm. he basically told us that you will not be asked theory now your your presentation matters how you approach to the case matters whether you have worked in the ward or not this matters so all those things i kept in mind uh, kept in my mind and then i you know uh, went for the interview uh, online only so it was uh, it was okay okay but yeah uh, they basically asked uh, look they basically see how your approach is towards the patient whether you have worked actually in the ward or you have just taken your degree like that so that is more important theory part they don't uh, they are not bothered much your so, presentation matters so uh, so it is about the clinical experience that counts in the interview yes sir yes mm. so because um, dr basant is from aims only because he finished his graduation of mca okay. surgical gastro from aims, AIMS. so and you know it may know it better yeah you know uh, what could be in the background of uh, people going to ask questions okay. and uh, what is the message that you want to leave to the juniors or friends who are aspiring for to do uh, mch surgical gastro before that i want to ask you a question was your primary exam was an nss exam or a neat ss exam uh, so sir since i was a first timer in uh, in the last ini and last neat so i ha- i was more focused towards the neat ss part so that is why i had started my general surgery preparation uh, but after that uh, i did not uh, get a rank good rank in neat ss i i, I scored a rank of 254 in surgical gastroenterology so i was very depressed so i thought okay it's, it's just 2 uh, 3 more uh, more months let's give a shot again so i started preparing for I- ina ss april session so that how things you know translated and uh, Uh, i had got a seat in army hospital research and referral but i got uh, disqualified because of my obesity thing so they you know um, and they had unfit me medically unfit uh, because of obesity then i was very depressed but then ultimately things worked out and uh, see here i am sitting in front yeah, of but, but you don't look like that sir uh, i don't know maybe because of my bone density is much <laughs> <laughs> huh? so but anyway the destiny is great because we yes, sir, god yes. decides uh, where should yeah, finally exactly. a person hmm? exactly sir exactly hmm. it's so, everything is in god's hand we we feel okay why it not happen and uh, finally at the end of the day we know okay only because of this is it happened yes sir so yeah. my message should be that if if god uh, if the god is closing one door don't worry he is he's going to make another door open and that door would be a greater one it will be a better one so one should prepare for basically first for any ss or ds because most of them decline themselves for an any ss exam they primarily focus only on neat ss for them what will you say sir uh, one thing i would like to say that if i can do it anyone can do it i i never scored i i always scored a three digit rank in all the neat like neat ug neat pg i my neat ug rank was 261 my neat pg rank was 768 so it was not like not two digit not one digit and now it's one digit so if i can do it sir anyone anyone can do it it's it's just the uh, it's it's just your hard work that pays off so if you are willing for either any or either uh, neat ss you just have to do hard work if you are not going to do hard work there's no shortcut for that hard work is a must that would i would say yeah, basically because basically they think why should i read one specialty because general surgery is 150 for neat ss so in case i want to prepare for an any ss then i do prepare for one speciality in depth so that they want to take a route and number of seats are also more 
uh, in need assess. So that's a but general sir, perspective. But sir, reading subspeciality uh, right now would obviously help you further in your when you are uh, you know uh, getting into that course. So I I, I think uh, both have pros and cons. But then one has to actually decide whether they want to do it from the institute of national importance or just the regional institutes. So it's one's preference, I would say. Uh, not you know uh, really that uh, one cannot read. Uh, so see, everyone has come from uh, till now, right here. So everyone can do it. And uh, uh, after after my failure, I would like to share one thing, sir. After uh, I did not score a good rank, so I had seen your video that uh, it's not a failure; it's delay in success. You had put a video on uh, YouTube, so that thing has you know inspired me a lot. And I had downloaded that video. I used to listen to that video daily in the morning. <laughs> it was a morning ritual that that it's not a failure you had come this far uh, so it is not a failure for you it is just delay in success so this is my delay in success sir <laughs> <laughs> and also one more worry you also always i had that don't settle for less yes sir don't settle for less yes 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 so as a, yes, as a surgeon don't settle for less okay don't settle uh, and uh, finally a great uh, inspiring story from dr karthik because Thank when you, uh, people will definitely look up to this video and because the way you have made through and you have reached this and definitely it will motivate i think uh, most of the people will have this video every day as a ritual to see this and to <laughs> <laughs> and, and to keep motivating oneself and to do i can also do it okay and once again i wish you all the best and all the success as a great uh, surgical uh, gastroenterologist in the country and you have been Thank in the premier you. institute today and uh, uh, your hard work and uh, and god's a uh, blessing and everything as a whole has worked for you amazingly and keep going and now it's a midas touch i mean whatever you say will happen around you there's a very good aura around you and keep keep going and keep doing well best wishes to you all your family members friends and relatives keep going all the best thank you thank you so much sir thank you